back for game number three. So we beat Tibalt's Trickery, and then we lost to Dredge. <laughs> Which is actually kind of funny, because Dredge is supposed to be one of our better matchups. So, but in game one, we just couldn't find our lock piece in time, uh, the Solemnity. And in the second game, we ended up getting it pretty quickly. Third game, they ended up having the nuts on us, and we had to mulligan. We did keep a four land hand with Solemnity and Enduring Ideal and top decked the Lotus Bloom. So we were actually doing pretty well, but then they kill us by turn four. So tends to happen when you play modern. Sometimes, sometimes that just happens though. All right, so, hmm. This is actually an interesting hand. So who's going first? He's going first. I'm actually, oh, hmm. This is another weird hand, because we have a Dovescape and Form of the Dragon. However, with Leyline and Unlife, we can get our lock piece early. This doesn't really have a lot of game against uh, Tibalt's Trickery deck. Um, and if we do get the, th uh, the third land, we can go Frexit Unlife and somehow get our Devotion up. Nah, I don't really like this mulligan. Now this hand... I do like a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to keep this. And we're going to actually put back a Wall of Omens. And the reason I'm keeping this is because we have the Leyline of Sanctity on the first turn. So this is good against Jund and other discard decks. We have a Lotus Bloom for our Enduring Ideal. We can Temple into some lands. We have our Lock Pieces and we have an Omen, or a Wall of Omens. Alright, so we are playing against uh, Hexproof. Boggles. We are going to... Hmm. What's actually kind of funny is that this Form of the Dragon <laughs> stops Boggles. But we have the 9 lives already. I don't need this. I just need more lands. Oh, and we can't forget to cast the Slowest Bloom. And that's it. That's all, folks. So what would our dream draw be? More lands. I think that's what we're looking for. So here, what he's going to attack for? Four... Oh, he's going for the long game. All right. Well, lucky for us, we can block. Next leveling people in Magic by playing playing with rules that are not related to combo decks. All right, we got another Lotus Bloom, <laughs> which means anything we top deck after turn uh, five will be live here we're going to go get a snow covered plains and play the wall of omens this will allow us to block at least save us some life i have a feeling we're not going to end up blocking this core spirit dancer but we're going to play this nine lives early and just lock him out of the game i don't think there's any way for them to deal with enchantments main board What's also really funny is that we can always just top deck an on thin ice and just on thin ice the spirit dancer because for some reason they don't have this guy doesn't have hexproof. <laughs> the rancor will go back to their hand though, so oh good, he's flying, so I don't even have to make the choice to block him. And somehow we end up having our lock pieces in hand. Incredible. So our Lotus Bloom comes off Suspend next turn. We're going to play this Plains. And we know he's going to cheese us out with some type of enchantment on his creatures. So we're going to go ahead and play this Nine Lives. Solemnity it up next turn. And then win the game. By win the game, I mean <laughs> play a Form of the Dragon or Enduring Ideal that we draw. And we have time for that. Yes, your enchantments don't no longer do anything. Oh, oh, now he's making his scout bigger. Gotcha. That is a good plan. Hmm. Alright, he's gaining life. Actually, he doesn't gain life because he's not dealing any damage. This prevents damage. 
But does he draw a card? Oh, that's pretty good. That's why he has so many cards in hand. Oh, he's attaching it to the scout. Does this draw cards whenever you play it? Oh, that's good. Huh. Uh, yes. I would like to go and get a planes. So that means if we draw an Onthin Ice, we can kill this core spirit dancer. I think he's going to be very sad, though, when he learns what Solemnity does. Oh, he has Vigilance, too. Excellent. Hmm. Alright, we got one Lotus Bloom. Alright. Cast this. And let's draw. Dovescape. <laughs> Why do I always seem to end up drawing cards like this? Okay. And one, two, three... I'm just going to do this now. Miss Veil Plains. Because I want to get this Dovescape out of my hand. Oh, good. No way to deal with it. Excellent. Hmm. So I'm going to look up and see Boggles. MTG Modern. Because I miss their playing Skyclaves. I feel like they should. They should for sure be playing bottles. Uh, goldfish. So what should I bring in? Silence is pretty good. Hmm. Deafening silence. Okay, what do they play? Nature's claims. What the hell is a sanctimony? Suppression field. That's pretty good. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Is deafening silence good? Because it slows them down a lot. Huh. I kind of like deafening silence. We'll figure it out. And we don't, I don't think we really need these ley lines. I don't think we need at least a couple of these onthonices. Um, hmm. And I think we should play an one of these just as like our third no, torpor orb. Yeah, I think we have to play. Hushbringer, just in case, right? Yeah, O-Ring doesn't really do a whole lot. Let's play this Hushbringer. Um, hmm. Same with the Skyclave. I don't think it really does anything. And with that... Ooh, and a Blood Moon. Blood Moon sounds good. And for that, we will take out... An Onthin Ice. Alright. Uh, let's actually take out this Ley Line, put in this Onthin Ice. And yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, let's try it. Because Deafening Silence actually slows them down quite a bit because they can't just throw everything onto their creatures. And to this, hmm. Okay, so we got the first game. We're on the draw again. We're going to have Leyline out, and we can treasure map. Uh, what are we looking for in this matchup? I think I just keep this. Yeah, because we have treasure map, and we can block with a Thraben Inspector. We have Hushbringer for Skyclave, so I think it's fine. Six. All right, he's doing it, and he has six cards, awesome. 
All right. So what is the name of the game here? I think I'm actually going to pass and just silence him. Yeah. Silence. Because I don't mind being attacked by a 1-1. One -one. I don't really like being attacked by a bigger thing than that. <laughs> that would suck. Hmm. What do I draw? Nykthos. Alright. So we're going to go and play this Windswept Heath. And I think I just go ahead and play this Treasure Map. Because Treasure Map is really good. Turns out. It's soft to Skyclave, but I really want to start getting this treasure map off and up and running. And what's cool is if we, we can actually treasure map into silences and just cast them, which is fine. All right. And we're going to cast this A, A1 card. Hidden gem. And they allow it. Will they nature's claim it? That is the question. And I don't think they have a nature's claim, because I feel like they would have cast it on treasure map. It just makes it so good. Alright. Huh. What are those last three cards? They have to be something really weird, because he would have just played all of his enchantments. Alright, but we're activating treasure map for sure. And I think what we just want to do here is just start getting up Art of Ocean. I think if we get any lands, I'd probably keep them on top. So on our turn 5, that's when we have 7 mana. So we just have to survive that long. Thraven Inspector is going to do a lot to help. But I'm going to opt to cash, cast Hushbringer this turn because it stops Skyclave. And I think now is where he's like thinking, okay, maybe I should have actually Nature's Claimed it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on top. I really don't like exposing uh, Nykthos's early. And we're going to end up needing some lands just to hit our treasure map anyways. So I think that ends up working out. I th I'm going to go and get another Snow-Covered Plains. It does feel bad not getting Mistvale, <laughs> to be honest. But I mean, if you don't do it on the first turn of the game, it's really a tough decision. Because you have to opt to not, not play all these other cards. So Hushbringer, really good. I really don't want to get killed by Skyclaves. What? What is he doing? Mana Tithe? Oh my god. Wow, what a card. Okay. He Mana Tithed me. So I guess we should play around that from now on. Um, <laughs> this is actually the first time I've been Mana Tithed. So we can no longer block with Thraben Inspector. All right. So he's attacking for four. Hmm. All right. So we're gonna scry on our upkeep again. Nine lives. I like that. And what's funny is this actually gets up Art of Ocean. One, two, three. And they can't uh, Nature's Claim it, which is even better. So next turn we activate map. Three, four, five, six. But we have Nykthos. Yeah. Let's do it. I don't mind putting counter up. Oh, shit. Whatever. That's fine. We can pay one now. It doesn't really matter. Up. Oh, he concedes. 
Awesome. Well, we are. We went 2-0 versus Boggles. Easy enough. All right. See you on the next one.